Good morning, class. Today we finish up our study of the ACT English passages, so no more grammar questions for Honors English 1. Um, I hope that you have kept up with all of your sheets because I'm going to ask that at the end of this you go back through and you count up the number of questions that you got correct. So the number of questions from 1 through 75 that you got correct. If you don't have all of your sheets, count up the number of questions for the ones that you can find, and we'll do a percentage out of that. All right, let's get started. All right, um, I hope you remember from last time that the sentence that had the last question in it of last week's um, was cut off, and so I included a text box to finish that sentence out, and I've done the same thing for this time. So the um, text at the top was from the bottom of page 22. So, in some agricultural parts of Japan, for instance, these three stars are commonly referred to as karasuki and represent a three-pronged plow. And, um, excuse me, I got a little typo there for you. Um, it should say, in, just once, in other parts of Japan, the same three stars appear in a constellation representing the floor-length sleeve of a woman's kimono. In still other parts of Japan, this shining trio appears in the center of an hourglass-shaped drum, a suzumi. I hope for number 69, um, you realize that the um, wordy extra words part of this um, underlined portion of 69 is necessary. So even though it is really long, we still keep it because we need the transition to the third um, Japanese view of the three stars. So the correct answer for number 69 is A, no change. On the other side of the world, the same three stars has traditionally represented three zebras to the Namukwa people of South Africa. I hope that you noticed that that sounded funny as you were um, doing your questions and so that you know that you need to change number 70 to G. The same three stars have traditionally represented. Has is incorrect because has goes with a singular word such as star. H is never correct. Um, and in Ironic Rapids, when we talk, a lot of times we sound like could have, but what we're really saying is the um, could have, and we're putting it together to make C-O-U-L-D apostrophe V-E. So that even though it sounds like could of, we're really saying could of C-O-U-L-D apostrophe V-E. All right, and J, it has by itself isn't right. Has with been definitely won't be right either. All right, and last one for this slide, number 71. In the mythology, comma, of the Tswana people of South Africa, comma, these same three stars represent three pigs. All right, the commas, as I told you last time, represent extra information. And of the Tswana people of South Africa is not extra information. We do need it. So we want to look for something without the commas. And of course, the correct answer is D, no commas, in the mythology of the Tswana people of South Africa. Um, C is the same problem as the original underlined, and if you notice in B, we have one comma, and we don't want one comma by itself um, in terms of the extra information needed to. All right, number 72. Orion is the name many Westerners use for a constellation that contains these three stars. In Greek mythology, Orion is a mighty hunter. In the night sky, he carries a bow and arrow and is accompanied by his loyal dogs, Canis Major and Canis Minor. The three stars form the brilliant belt around the hunter's waist. In the sky with Orion are the animals he used to hunt on Earth, from a small rabbit to a huge bull. The scorpion that, according to myth, killed Orion inhabits the sky as well, but at such a distance because it can never sting the hunter again. I hope that you noticed the because sounded funny. Um, so when sounds funny. And this means sounds funny, so our correct answer is J at such a distance that it can never sting the hunter again. Even in an age of big screen televisions, there is still no show on earth as big as the night sky. 
hope you notice that but there um, does not make sense um, because even in age of big screen televisions is not a, correct, a complete sentence, so it cannot be D. All right, and then we're stuck with which version of there do I want? The one that's currently underlined, T-H-E-I-R, is the possessive form. So their car, their parents. All right? um, so that is not correct because we there is, is is a verb, not a noun. All right? B, T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E, is short for they are. They are is, still no show on earth, does not make sense. So I hope that you mark number 73 as C. T-H-E-R-E. -E. There is no, still no show on earth. Number 74. Stars up there play different roles around the world, comma. Their dazzling careers span thousands of years. Hope that you notice that this is a comma splice. Stars play, subject verb, complete thought, and career span, subject verb, complete thought. All right, so world comma there is not correct so it cannot be F. World comma is not correct because that doesn't fix the problem. World comma with does not fix the problem. So the answer is G. We must insert an and. Stars up there play different roles around the world and their dazzling career span thousands of years. The writer wants to divide the preceding paragraph into two to create a concluding paragraph that is free of direct references to a specific culture's view of the three stars. The best place to begin the new paragraph would be at the beginning of sentence four, five, six, or seven. Okay, if we look at four, that cannot be correct because we're talking about Orion, which is the Western view. Number five, we're still talking about Orion with the Western view. Number six, we're still talking about Orion with the, rest, um, with the Western view, and so we're left with seven with the idea of the big screen televisions and the stars playing different roles. So the correct answer for number 75 is D. Okay, recapping, 69A, 70G, 71D, 72J, 73C, 74G, and 75D. All right, now again, please go back and count up all of the questions that you can find and find your correct answer for your subscore area. All right, write that down and see your percentage out of 75 or whatever number that you can find of the papers. All right, we've enjoyed doing the ACT English Review, and I thank you for your cooperation. Have a great rest of your day.